Next Alert Weather with meteorologist Gib Brown. Okay, here's what you need to know on a Sunday evening. And it's going to warm up tonight. Temperature is going to creep up toward the 50 degree mark a little later on. We're going to see a really nice warm start to the 1st of May and then showers and some thunderstorms coming in on Monday night. So keep that in mind, a very spring type pattern. Anything but spring right now. Temperatures in the 40s, but look at Jay, only 34 degrees. Uh, again, these temperatures will eventually warm up. We're seeing that a little bit further to the south where Bennington and Keene are now in the low 50s. So that warmer air will continue to push northward. And uh, check this out. It's just like summertime over the eastern half of the country. Currently, it's 82 degrees in uh, uh, portions of uh, Ohio, 53 only in New York. So again, about a 30 degree difference in temperatures there. And out here, this is where they had all that snow. They continue to see snow falling over western portions of Kansas and Nebraska. And that big system, a very strong one, is right here. And this is going to basically envelop the entire Northeast over the next couple of days. So what's happening now is we're pushing that warm air ahead of a warm front or behind a warm front northward. This is about where that frontal boundary is. Is, and uh, that will continue to push a little bit further to the north as the night wears on. Now, I'm expecting that we're going to see a little bit of this precipitation just glance the northern border uh, communities a little bit later on tonight with some shower activity, possibly even a thunderstorm, and then things will uh, dry out as we get you into the first day of May with uh, mostly cloudy skies, but those temperatures are really going to be on the warm side because we'll be, behind, we'll be behind that warm front. Now, as the day wears on, we'll see a mainly cloudy day Day. Some showers coming in later in the afternoon, but this frontal, business, frontal boundary means business. Showers and thunderstorms tomorrow night, and then we get a bit of a break from the action, but then more showers develop on Tuesday, and it looks like it's going to be one of those typical spring showery patterns for at least the next couple of days. I think the only real dry day will be on Thursday. So overall tonight, quiet of the few spotty showers out there, but here come those showers along the Canadian border later on tonight. Tomorrow morning, most of us getting up to cloudy skies, some showers over, especially the Northeast Kingdom. And then throughout the day, it stays mainly dry. But in the evening, here come those storms about 730 showers and thunderstorms, some with pretty hefty rain and gusty winds moving into St. Lawrence and Franklin counties. They'll be in the Champlain Valley between, say, 9 and 1030. And then heavy rains with these uh, systems, they push through overnight. We're left with spotty shower activity taking you into Tuesday. Tuesday showers, especially during the afternoon, but it looks like things will start to dry out by the time we get to Wednesday. Overall, things are going to be on the cool side to start tonight, but those temperatures will be rising, especially after midnight. Uh, we'll be seeing a, a bit of a light shower here and there, but uh, most of the night will be on the dry side. Tomorrow, highs in the 70s in the Champlain Valley, 73 in Burlington. Temperatures a little bit cooler north and east of the region because it's going to take a while for the warmer air to scour out the cool temperatures at the surface. Then as we get you into that five day forecast, you can see that Tuesday is going to be a showery day after those thunderstorms on Monday night. Wednesday, mostly dry, a mostly cloudy day, 55 degrees. We warmed to 62 on Thursday and Friday it looks like a rain out. Temperature only 55 degrees. Showers on Saturday and a few on Sunday. Temperatures moderating into the 60s. Give, I'll tell you